hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to calculate the area with similar kind of attributes of a raster file uh, this is a raster image actually it is the NDVI image of a district of Bangladesh and it was created in the previous video please see my other videos because I am uploading the videos sequentially so this is the NDVI which is showing the visitation coverage of this area this light green color is representing lower visitation and the darker green color is actually representing higher visitation now if you want to calculate the amount of area with the higher visitation and the lower visitation you can simply do that using several tools of ArcGIS this from here if we classify it in five classes you can see that these classes are actually representing the areas with similar kind of attributes the light green color is showing the less visitation and the darker green color will be showing the higher visitation we have to permanently reclassify this image that's why we're going we're using this reclassify tool okay we will input our result here and classify it in five classes you can classify it according to your choice from here if you give equal interval then the same amount of pixel values will be stored in each classes okay then you can simply save your result i'm giving it the, the name of uh, re ndvi then i'm saving it and simply clicking okay this will make a new image with the permanent five classes okay from here we can see that our process has been completed and the pixels have been categorized in five classes you can simply change the symbology from here and now you can see that the higher values are showing the high vegetation and the lower values are representing low vegetation okay still now our output is in image format and to calculate the area to calculate the area we will need to convert this raster into polygons so we will search the raster to polygon tool from here and input this classified image now save your output value your output raster oh sorry sorry it will be a output vector now as we are converting it from raster or image to polygons simply after clicking ok our uh, process will be completed in some moment so remember uh, we have to calculate the area of certain classes from image we have to convert it to polygons our process is now completed and if you now take the attribute table from here of our converted vector file you can see that there are so so many polygons have been created here with many polygons with similar grid codes actually these grid codes are simply representing the classes of visitation like you can see that there are so many polygons with three there are so many uh, polygons with the grid code five this grid code three polygons are actually representing the moderate visitation and 
simply this four grid code is rep five grid code is representing the areas with highest uh, vegetation now we uh, will be needing to combine these polygons into a single uh, polygon for that we will need a tool named dissolve tool actually it will convert the polygons with similar type of attributes in a single polygon from here you can see that this green colors were divided into three polygons and uh, after doing performing this dissolve uh, for dissolve operation this polygons have been merged into one we are going to do this from here as well and we are going to combine the combine the polygons according to the grid code here so we will select grid code if we click on grid code grid code it will combine the similar kind of attributes into a single polygon after some time our operation will be completed okay now after the completion of our operation if we now take the result from here from the attribute tables you can see that the polygons with the similar grid code have been combined into a single polygon and there are five polygons and we know that these five polygons are representing the five classes of vegetation in this certain area from the select by selecting the polygons it's showing that uh, which polygon is covering how much area from here and simply we are going to next calculate the area in square kilometers of how much area is covered by each classes we simply we go to this symbology if you want to classify the uh, show the classification of these polygons it can be done from here from the categories you have to click on add all values and uh, you can uh, simply change the color ramp from here you can uh, choose any anyone according to your wish even you can modify the colors from here you can simply modify the colors according to your choice let's give it a darker green color at the higher values we're representing high visitation and i am gradually decreasing the intensity of the colors as the lower values were representing low vegetation of the area i'm giving it the lowest intensified color now simply you can see that the colors have been given but we can see some uh, very uh, dark gray color or dark uh, not all the colors have been converted into green actually it's happening because these colors were outlined in this gray color dark gray color so from here we will simply remove this outline color will give no color from here then only the green colors will show okay i've removed all the uh, outline colors now now you can see that our result have been created and actually the darker colors are showing the uh, high visitation and the lower colors here are showing low visitation now here we are going to calculate the 
area of each of these classes. Simply to give a proper symbology, you can rename rename the classes from here. You can I'm giving it the very low visitation. I'm giving it the name of low visitation. After that, I'm giving this class the name of moderate visitation. Then renaming it, it as the high visitation. And lastly, giving it the name of a very high visitation. Okay. Now we will try to calculate the area. We will go to the attribute table and to calculate the area actually we will be needing a field and under that field we will calculate the area of each of these classes. Okay. Now simply we will uh, click on add field here. We will give it the name of area and we will change the type to double as the value of the area might appear into a longer decimal fractions. From here we will click, we will right click on it and click on calculate geometry. We will simply click uh, yes. And from here we want to calculate the area in square kilometers so I am clicking in square kilometers and then clicking OK and simply our results is here you can see the air the classes covering this much amount of area you can simply see that the high visitation and the moderate visitation is covering a very high amount of area and you can see them in square kilometers now even if you want to the calculate the percentage of the uh, classes simply you can add another field and name it as percentage area you can also give it the float as it's not going to be it's it's it might go it might be a fraction but it's not going to be uh, some long fraction decimal fraction so i'm simply giving it float from now you have to right click on it and go to field calculator and simply you uh, if you want to calculate the percentage of the area covered by each of the classes you will be needing the summation of this area the total area so right click on it and go to statistics and uh, from the statistics you will be able to show you will be able to see the summation of the area now you'll go to uh, again go to field calculator and simply double click on this area and divide it by the summation of area which is 25 to 285 to find h1 then give a first bracket and we will multiply it with 100 to get the to get the percentage of the areas now simply the percentage of the areas have been calculated too you can see that more or less 50 and uh, 50 i mean 49 and 48 percent area is covered by the moderate and high visitation okay now simply if you want to make a map from it you can do that you simply convert it to the layout layout view and simply you can insert the legend from here where you will uh, simply represent the represent each classes
okay you can uh, simply add the other elements of the map according to your choice even if you want to show the percentage from here in the legend section as you have calculated the percentage you can provide the percentages of each of the classes under this symbology you can see that the percentage is also shown in here that was all for today thank you